Let's come to your senior citizens' luncheons. And he said, you know, it's an amazing thing how you've been able to keep those luncheons going all these years. And that's true. He spoke the truth. Experts on voluntary associations, and that's what the churches are a subset of, will tell you that usually things like that, events like that, will get off to a good start, and they may hang around for two, three, four years, but eventually the people who started them lose interest or move away, and they generally don't uh, recruit more people to keep them going. Well, if you have not been to one of our senior citizens' lunches lately, I invite you to come and see the young people who are out there serving and talking with seniors and making that a great event. That is what we're doing here. That's what Dave did for us, raise up people who can keep these ministries going and create new ones as they need to. Now, Martin Luther did mention uh, the Sunday church school and how long we've had teachers teaching there, some of them from the very beginning. And that's another indication of what Dave has done for us inspire people to be part of these ministries, bring in new people, keep these ministries going. And, and that's why I kind of look to the future with some confidence because of that legacy from David. It's a wonderful thing that we've built beautiful church buildings. It's a greater thing that we've built a community of faith that carry on this service to the Lord. Now, I think a lot of you know, because I talk about it all the time, that I'm a preacher's kid. And I know a lot about pastors' families. My father was a Lutheran minister. His twin brother was a Lutheran minister. My brother, up until he retired a little over a year ago, was a Lutheran minister. So I know how this works. And this is one of the very few professions. There's a couple others. But it's one of the very few professions where the spouse is considered automatically to be part of the team, uh, unpaid. And, but the spouse is supposed to be part of the pastoral team. It's just expected. And I think we all know that, especially Dave, but we too have really uh, gained a great deal from Jane's wisdom, her gentle humor, uh, her patience. Uh, she has been uh, an integral part of this community, and I don't, I, I don't know where Dave would be without her but I'm pretty sure we wouldn't be where we are today without her. I have a little gift for you, by the way.